My first interaction with Snej was meeting her on The Bachelor and she was the first girl that I met. I remember two things. The first thing was how beautiful she was and the second thing was how hard it was to pronounce her name. I was so, not scared, but I was a little bit like, what have I got myself in for at that moment? And with her being the first girl that got out of the car and went and met me, I was kind of like, okay, that's one girl, how many girls are there gonna be? And I must admit, it wasn't until the second time that I probably sat down with her properly that, um, yeah, I was probably a little bit more calm and, and, uh, and, and aware of what was going on. It was a bit of a blur the first time. Yeah, it would have been probably the next time or even on the first uh, Snez was on one of the group dates and we had a photo shoot and it was kind of th then that we spent the most time with each other and it was a bit it was a bit more just us and not in a cocktail party and in the in the madness that is the bachelor so that was the time I really was taken back by her and just li just little things like touch and smell and that was that was definitely, you know, we weren't sitting on a couch kind of having this get to know you conversation. It was more, a bit more physical and a bit more, uh, it was definitely the, the time that I remember going, wow, there's something special about this woman. I hoped that I would meet someone on The Bachelor, but I hadn't seen the show before. I thought, it's 20 girls, it's, it's maybe, but it's a bit of a long shot. I, I thought I'd meet someone great, but I didn't probably really think I'd meet someone that I'd fall head over heels in love with and marry. I mean, I think even looking back, Snez and I both laugh and pinch ourselves at how crazy that's been. So I proposed to Snez down in Tassie and I, I had the ring and we, we stayed down in, at wine, in Wine Glass Bay and this beautiful, beautiful hotel and we were about to go for a walk and I, um, I said to Evie, I'm going to propose to your mum uh, at the top of the walk and she, you know, thank God I didn't tell her earlier, she's not great at keeping secrets, she barely lasted the 60 minute walk. but. She was kind of bursting with excitement and I'd said to her, can you get a photo or video to capture the moment? And we finally got to the top of the wine glass bay lookout and I got the ring out and Evie sort of was nervously trying to get in a position where she could capture the moment. And uh, yeah, I just got down on one knee and proposed to Snez and I think Evie pressed the wrong button and didn't end up recording it or whatever it was. We totally mucked that up. but. I just, for me it was really important. I loved that I could do it in Tassie and it was really important that Evie was there. And I just think, um, yeah, I really think back and remember that moment fondly. Our relationship's just gone from strength to strength. I think, the, I mean, the only challenge we have now is kids, which you know, I'm sure most couples go through at the same stage and just, Making sure we make time for each other, I think that's so easy not to do. You know, particularly early on with little Charlie at the moment, only being a month old, you know, even to get to the movies is just impossible. And you know, so just communicating really openly about what the other person needs and how you can help with that. And I just also I think continuing to surprise each other with romantic little gestures and it doesn't have to be crazy and over the top. I think sometimes the smallest, nicest things uh, probably pack the most punch, particularly seeing as we've done so many ridiculous over the top things on The Bachelor. It's now, it's now just the little things and understanding what each other needs and kind of doing those things without being asked I think is the point. Mm -hmm.